Well, he was one of the best players to grace the pitch for El Paso Locomotive FC. Diego Luna established himself as a future star of the sport. That gave him the opportunity to take his game to the next level in the MLS. That happened about a month ago, and since then, it's been a crazy one. We had the chance to catch up with the 18-year-old soccer star as he continues to build his legacy. The referee has blown the whistle. It's a moment of history. The U.S. will now be back at the Olympics in Paris. For the first time since 2008, a United States national team will play in the Olympics. The under-20 U.S. team punched their ticket to the 2024 Olympics in Paris after a big win over Honduras Friday night. Someone who played a role in the team's dominant run in the CONCACAF championships, former El Paso Locomotive star Diego Luna. Luna makes no mistake. We, we got that news that you know a lot of people have known that the u.s hasn't made the olympics in in two cycles in eight years you know it's crazy and i think being a part of that group and you know the brotherhood that we, we've created and stuff going along this tournament has been pretty crazy and it's it's exciting now the paris olympics is not the only thing luna will look forward to the 18 year old soccer star will continue his professional career in america's top league in the sport major league soccer diego luna signing with real salt lake in the last couple of days Luna made his MLS debut with Real Salt Lake on June 4th. That was three days after the MLS club acquired him from El Paso Locomotive for a USL to MLS transfer fee record of $250,000. Luna has only played one game with his new club due to international duty, but he's ready to get back and settle in with RSL. Coming into this new environment, into the MLS and playing into a new team, I got I to gotta integrate myself there and, and just how I did with El Paso, you know. Uh, start getting minutes and, and then just proving myself and I think from there things will start to fly and I think that's kind of been you know my motto and how people have said that the route I've taken it wasn't always you know like a homegrown or, or somewhere where I started I've made different different leaps to get where I'm at and I think you know I, I'm gonna continue doing that if I keep performing. Even though Luna is on to bigger things in his career El Paso will always have a special place in his heart. And I think El Paso became very close to my heart and I, I'd, I'd consider it you know my second home it's it's a place that kind of made me who I am and gave me the chances to become, you know, who I can become. And I think that's that's an, an amazing feeling. And knowing that they have my my back through everything, it's it's awesome. Luna and the under-20 national team are back in action tomorrow in the CONCACAF Championship Final against the Dominican Republic. Kickoff set for 6 p.m. Mountain Time.